Hey everyone, this is Kwanda Gaming here and I'm back with, hopefully what should be the final part of Assassin's Creed 3, so, <clears throat> let's do this. Now I'm on the final set of stairs and I need to find that final platform, depending on where I need to go of course. Aha, there are those bars above there, I'm thinking, yeah, I, I was thinking, mm, how can I get over there? Yep, there's bars, of course. Okay, next cutscene. approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for him. him. Not, Not for us. us. Okay, another interesting, but yet, yeah, well, disturbing cutscene. Okay, I think it's to have to go over there. Nope, that wasn't it. I've back a square one. Sorry about that. I'll do it again. One, two, three, jump. And back up here. I know it was this way, so... Of course. That's why these blocks are here. It's not that way. Yeah, there. Alright, there we go. Now, which way is it? It'll be this way, I think. Oh yeah, there's bars there. Now I'll have to climb my way up there. Go on, Desmond. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Do uh where'd I go then? It's around that way then. Oh, where the heck is it then? Oh, where'd I <laughs> don't know where to go. Is it around this way? No. Okay. I think I'm stuck. Oh, maybe not. It's supposed to be there. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body, a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave... Required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? Alright, 
back to where we were. I think it's here. Yes, it is. Let's we'll make our way around then. Okay, and it's over here and. Am I back at... Oh, Ben will be back at square one again. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, third and final one. Here we go. The door's about to be opened. Time to make my way down there. Okay, just jump down. There we go. What was I about to say? Hopefully, I don't fall. That'd be pretty embarrassing if I did. Okay, now let's make my way up to the door. Okay, then what do I do then? Do I just speak to Sean then? I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, ambrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine. And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Tasted of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though. I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You've certainly got away with words, Rebecca. Alright then, now I think I'm gonna have to go back here then, if that's the case. I might be wrong, but I think I've got to go here in order to trigger the cutscene. Yep, I was right. Yes, this is it. We're right behind you. Right, here we go. Let's make our way there now, because I want to get this over with. Yeah, let's go for the final bit. The final bit, I can't wait for this. Right, here's the cutscene for this. Moment of truth. Let's do this then. Gotta go all the way forward here. I wonder what is. Okay, can't see yes. time. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now of how we tried, of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her. Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. Well, 
have we worked to save the world? She sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the sky. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination you will inspire them to rebuild to thrive once more and as the world heals so too will humanity but you are just a man frail and mortal you pass from the world leaving behind only a memory a legacy you will be remembered first as a hero later as a legend and in time as a god it is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them. And you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't! It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us! We'll find another way! There isn't time. Son... You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go!
in some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity okay, throughout the region. Uh, Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest... No minute to interrupt the dialogue here, Dialogues but... ...transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and... ...seems to be receding. I think I'm just going to have to speak over the dialogue here. Well, that was Assassin's Creed 3. I hope you enjoyed this, but I have to say that ending really didn't satisfy me. It really didn't. I didn't get to make a choice. It's just like, okay, I thought I was going to make a choice at the end, but nope, Desmond already made this decision and I couldn't do anything. So, I'm pretty mad about this ending. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. Well, I think that's pretty much it for Assassin's Creed 3, so I think I'm going to end this video off. I mean, I know that the credits are probably going to take quite a while, so I'm going to end off. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video, comment down below if you thought, and please subscribe for more. Now, just a bit of a reminder that I've got that Google Forms LP choice. I've got uh, three games that have two votes each, and those are Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Jack and Daxter, and Sonic 3. Now, there are other games that have one vote each, like Crash Bandicoot 2 and Motor Racer, uh, all those games, so I'll provide a link to that down below for you to check out. Excuse me, and that's pretty much it for Assassin's Creed 3. I hope you enjoyed this game. I thought it was okay, but the ending just kind of killed it for me, I think. But that's pretty much it guys, so again if you enjoyed the video be sure to like it, comment down below for your thoughts and please subscribe for more upcoming LPs. Till then, this is Clannagame here signing off and I will see you guys next time for another LP. Till then, goodbye.